the same things or sometimes even less probable things. Thank you.
doctrine of the classification seriously, the extensive continuum at once becomes the primary factor in objectification. It provides the general scheme of extensive perspective which is exhibited in all the mutual objectifications by which actual entities prehend each other. Thus in itself, the extensive continuum is a scheme of real potentiality which must find exemplifications in the mutual prehension of all actual entities. It also finds exemplification in each actual entity considered. A reply to objection I, I have already quoted this passage in my science and then modern world, note to ch. I mean, the extensive continuum, 77 feet formally. In this sense, actual entities are extensive, 119 days since they arise out of a potentiality for division, which in actual fact is not divided p. Part 4. It is for this reason, as stated above, that the phrase, actual occasion, is used in the place of, actual entity. Descartes, the doctrine of the physical world is exhibiting an extensive plenum of actual entities is practically the same as the, organic, doctrine. The Descartes bodies have to move, and this presupposition introduces security. It is exactly at this point that Newton provides a clear conception in comparison with that of Descartes. In the, organic, doctrine, motion is not attributable to an actual occasion. In the, organic, theory, I turn only one type of temporal actual entity, if each such actual entity is extensive, seen from the standpoint of any one actual entity, seen, given, actual world is a nexus of actual entity, transforming the potentiality of the extensive scheme into a plenum of actual occasion, i.e. in this plenum, motion cannot be significantly attributed to any actual occasion, if the plenum is continuous in respect of the potentiality from which it arises, but each actual entity is atomic, if the term, actual occasion, is used synonymously with, actual entity, the chief when its character of extensiveness has some direct relevance to the discussion, either extensiveness in the form of temporal extensiveness, that is to say, duration, or extensiveness in the form of spatial extension, or in the more complete signification of spatio-temporal extensiveness. Section B. The basis metaphysical doctrine of, indifferentiated endurance, is a subordinate derivative from the misapprehension of the proper character of the extensive scheme. In our perception of the contemporary world via presentational immediacy, nexus of actual entities are objectified for the percipient under the perspective of their characters of extensive continuity. In the perception of a contemporary stone, for example, the separate indie 120 equality of each actual entity in the nexus constituting the stone is merged into the unity of the extensive plenum, which for Descartes and for common sense, is the stone. The complete objectification is effected by the generic extensive perspective of the stone, specialized into the specific perspective of some sense datum, such as some definite color, for example. Thus the immediate percept assumes the character of the quiet and differentiated end. Durance of the material stone, perceived by means of its quality of color. This basic notion dominates language, and haunts both science and philosophy. Further, by an unfortunate application of the excellent maxim, that our conjectural explanation should always proceed by the utilization of a vera causa, whenever science or philosophy has ventured to extrapolate beyond the limits of the immediate deliverance of direct perception, a satisfactory explanation has always complied with the condition that some
atom is it? by essential qualities and remains numerically.